learn to fight. Yo, John Fitch here. We got another episode of Learn to Fight. And this time we got a couple of dad bod behemoths throwing down poolside, which is very ridiculous. It's silly. You're supposed to be having fun at the pool, having a little barbecue, drinking some beers, having a good time. And these guys want to fight. And they have no idea how to fight. And you'll see very quickly that this is very silly and comical because it's just two guys who have no business ever fighting anybody. They're way too out of shape. They're way too uncoordinated. Maybe they were athletes in high school or something. I think one of the guys might have wrestled. And you'll see he's got a couple of techniques he throws in there that maybe he might have done some junior high wrestling before. But he is not at his physical peak, that's for sure. This is a silly situation. These guys fighting, like if you hit somebody poolside, knock them out, they hit their head, they die, they fall in the pool, they drown. All kinds of bad stuff can happen. There may be glass laying around from other people. You've fallen into other people. Innocent people get caught up in your nonsense. You're looking at all kinds of trouble. It's, it's not worth it. It's stupid. Go to the gym. If you want to fight, find competent people to train with and work with. If you want to fight, that's, that's the way. Not, not poolside belly bumping like these guys are doing. All right? Let's take a quick look. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Words are said. Guy with the beard throws a punch. Misses. It was a terrible punch. He has another punch. Lands it, but it's soft. It's powder puff. Throws a third punch. Misses. Faints that one as the guy does a terrible job slipping and ducking his head real low. He's trying to, he's trying to defuse the situation after he realizes he can't do anything to hurt him. Punching. He gets bum rushed by the other guy. The guy shrugs him off, hits the ground. They roll into some wrestling. See the headlock right here, boom, to the ground. And then they get they get broken up. They get broken up. They probably had heart attacks shortly after this. They had a lot of visceral fat on their bellies. They can't be good for circulation. And this is just dumb. Uh, the guy with the beard does do a good job of, he you know, he keeps his fist out there for a little bit to like keep a frame. It allows him to, to keep separation. It also allows him to judge distance, and he's able to throw a, a good punch. Or I think he misses that punch, but he threw a punch off of that. But he did one thing okay. He's on the ground punching here. Going to hurt his hand, going to hurt himself. The other guy looks like he's wrestled a little bit before. Not, not very well, but he does look like he has some experience grappling maybe a season of junior high wrestling or something. These guys are off balance. They've probably been drinking. They're probably drunk. They have their hands down. They don't know how to sit down on punches. They don't know how to maintain posture. Create space. Talk this down. This is de-escalation. Whatever was happening before for the guy in the beard to throw that first punch, like, couldn't have been that bad. Like, what, what warranted him to try to hit this guy? Some words. He said something. He took his chair. You know, he maybe he was rubbing suntan lotion on, his, on the guy's wife. Maybe that was something. I don't know. But really, it's dumb. Is this what you want to look like, guys? It's not, not going to the gym, not training. Then you want to get mad and try to fight people in public. Here's that. Here's the separation with the arm right there. Oh, it missed keeping his hands up, then he's trying to de-escalate. It can be hard to do. It can be hard to de-escalate after you've already hit that person first, after you already took a swing on them. That, that's pretty much a guaranteed way to escalate things. You take a swing at somebody. Even if you seriously want to stop the fight after that, good luck. <laughs> you just tried to hit the guy. Even if you didn't hit the guy, you're more than likely going to piss him off enough to where he's going to want to fight you back. Where's the, where's the, that one punch that he landed, he did a good job of keeping up his hand. He kind of created a little barrier of fence with that and was able to hit the guy as he came in. It's the one, it's the one punch he landed because he actually kind of controlled distance, controlled space in order to find his mark. This guy in the uh, 
dark shorts without the beard, the wrestler here. I will I will applaud the effort after he hit the ground because you don't want to hit the ground and like give up because you might start getting stomped. He went immediately to attack the leg to bring the other guy down to close the distance. You kind of have to do that. If he had some more training, maybe he could have up kicked or done some you know leg sweeps, something, some standing sweeps. But no, these guys no training, no discipline. They're out of shape. They're overweight. The girlfriend of that one guy was pretty smart in trying to tell him to stay out of it because, yeah, stay out of it. It's none of your business. Let him fight. Maybe step in if somebody's going to get too hurt. But otherwise, chances are you're going to get pulled into it. You might get hit. What happens if you hurt somebody as you're breaking them up? Now, now they're going to sue you. This guy broke my arm because he tried to break up a fight. <laughs> It's crazy, man. The crazy world that we live in right now. But you see that bad head movement, bad footwork. These guys don't know how to sit down on their punches. They don't know how to de-escalate. A little bit of a single leg there. The guy's fighting. They're both fighting back hard up to their feet. But just sloppy. It's all just sloppy. It's a sloppy fight. It's like two two walruses on the beach slapping their bellies together. Let's see that punch. Here it is. Boom. He's got that hand posted. I'm going to back it up and freeze that part. So I've got it frozen right here. You can see he's posted. He's got his little frame. He's got his fence. He's got his, um, his barrier. He's got a barrier in between him and the other guy. That allows him to kind of judge range and it makes it easier to land and find your target when you're punching. So this isn't great technique, but it's the best thing he did this entire this entire exchange. He posted that hand, was able to judge range. The other guy pushing back into that post makes the punch a little bit harder. But you'll see he doesn't turn his hips. He doesn't turn that punch over. His elbows flared way out. It's just mechanically not a solid technique of a punch. He's got his chin way up too. The other guy has got his chin up. Both are fighting with their hands down a lot of this entire exchange. Not very good, not good at all. Bing lands it, misses the, the next one, pulls that one. I don't like the whole, I don't wanna fight, I don't fight. <laughs> he throws a punch. You gotta watch that stuff. You gotta watch other people. And what they're doing. Create space, keep creating space. One thing that the light blue shorts guy with the beard could have done is creating space, keep creating space. Walk around the table, walk around the chair. They look like there's some structures and things around there. Just put something in between you. Just keep talking to them. I don't want to do this. Leave me alone. I'm at the pool. Stop. Call the cops. Somebody call the cops. Somebody call security. Let this guy away from me. It's not worth it. You know, you're not a young teenage thug. Different rules apply for different situations. This is middle class people, maybe upper middle class. They're in a nice environment, nice people. Nobody's going to pull a gun or a knife here more likely. It's just not a smart thing to get into a fist fight here. Just separate and get away. Move on. Get on with your day. Have, have a good day. Have a good life. You don't need the lawsuits. You don't need the jail time. You don't need the felony charges. It's just not smart. Bink. And this guy keeps pressing, keeps pressing. The guy throwing the punch at the very beginning, it looked like that was the first real thing that happened. Maybe there was a physical altercation before the, the recording started, but it looked like they were just talking. And then out of nowhere, the guy with the beard throws the punch. And then it's kind of on. You can't really start the fight off. You can't really start the exchange off throwing a punch at somebody and then be like, all right, you know what? I don't want to do anything. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. It's like you already threw a punch at him. Probably not the best, not the best thing. You'll see a situation here too where when he ducks right here, when he pulls a punch, he could have just belly bumped him right into the pool. He should have just pushed him right into the pool and then left. 
Right? The guy falls to the ground. That's another opportunity to create space and get away. Instead, he engages in punching the guy. Could have hurt his hand. And then he gets into this situation where he gets headlocked. That could have turned into a bad situation too. Could have hit his head on the ground, broken his head open. It could have knocked him, got him knocked out from it. It's just not. It's just not smart. It's just dumb. He gets all your feelings worked up, and you're, I got to do something about it. This isn't it. This isn't it. You got some real inner work to do to make sure you don't put yourself into these situations. If these guys had any amount of training. Some clinch fight training. I think pushing the clinch, forcing the clinch, you're going to get to work. You're going to be able to subdue the guy, get to a two-on-one control, snap him down, push him in the pool. There's a lot of things you can do to take control of the situation while maintaining a position on your feet without risking injury to yourself or the other person from throwing punches and kicks. I'm not saying that punches and kicks aren't highly effective. They are. This time also, you know, when he ducks his head and I said he should push him in the pool, he also could have kicked him in the face. He could have kneed him. And uh, those are very effective. But what happens after? What happens after you land that technique? This isn't a sport. There are consequences. Every action has a reaction. And there are legal reactions to the things you do when you fight out in the street. So we can see that that was a silly exchange that nobody benefited from. Nobody got anything positive out of it. We saw some very bad form, very bad technique. The one highlight was using that stiff arm to post, to create a barrier, to create a frame, a frame or a fence, and using it as range to land that right hand. He did that well. But it could have ended up really bad for him, even with doing those things right. In a street fight situation, he lands the punch. Maybe he knocks him out, knocks him out into the pool. Now what happens? Who's going to jump in and save that guy? Is there a lifeguard on duty at that pool? Maybe not. Now he's going to get <laughs> in trouble for drowning a guy. He could land that punch, knock him out. The guy stumbles, falls, and hits his head on a, a pool chair, pool table. Maybe there's glass bottles around. He falls into that. All kinds of nasty scenarios pop up in that situation. It's not the gym. It's not the cage. There's not mats and pads and a containment area around them. There are innocent people around. They could easily fall into, step on. Somebody else gets hurt. If there's kids around, one of them gets hurt. Now you're, you're looking at all kinds of trouble. All kinds of trouble. You're two fat guys fighting at the pool and you land on my kid. There's going to be problems, right? And it might be somebody who's less well-adjusted than me that, that you land on their kid. This is a very low energy wave, low IQ response to a minor annoyance. Minor annoyance. I don't know the full backstory here, but I'm, I'm doubting it's some huge deal. Somebody probably took somebody's chair Something not important resulted in a silly fight. We're all going to sit around here now and laugh at them. Don't be those guys. Don't be those guys. Just don't be those guys. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll check you guys later.